Hey guys, it's Elena and today I wanted to do an alcohol ink piece with you with some metallic geometric elements added to it. And this idea was from Julia Godbolt who shared her wonderful artwork in our Facebook group and she's given me permission to make a video inspired by her artwork, which you can see here. And I just really loved how she had these really clean geometric lines interacting with each other along with the messy ink splatter. I just thought that was really cool. So I wanted to attempt doing my own and sharing the, the technique with you. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna make a new canvas which is 20 by 16 inches. And I'm gonna be using my amazing alcohol ink brushes for this tutorial. And you can do something similar if you have some watercolor brushes or anything with a lot of texture, you can experiment with this idea. So I'm going to be using a lot of black with a touch of pink. So I'm just gonna go ahead and double tap on the black and then I'm going to choose some different alcohol ink brushes and sort of build a texture in the middle of the screen. Okay, now I'm going to switch to my um, my color palette, which is called Pinata, and it comes from it comes together with the alcohol ink brush set. And I'm going to choose this really dark reddish color here, and then I'm going to go up to color changing number five and add a few pinkish red accents to this area. Okay, and I'm just gonna grab the, um, the move tool and move this down a little bit so that it's more centered. And you see we've got a problem here, but I'm just gonna take my brush called the Heavy Bleed Blender and blend a few areas inward so that it has a bit more faded looking. Okay, so now I'm just going to do some normal metallics on top of these, uh, on top of the splash, um, just some accents before I start doing the geometrics. And I'm not going to be, I'm not going to do a whole lot of it because there's already going to be some gold geometrics around it. So I'm just going to select from the alcohol ink brushes, I'm going to select the foil liner. And I'm going, this is my metallics um, palette that comes with the Amer Amazing Alcohol Ink brush set. So I've set that as my de default so that it's over here. And I think that the main um, sort of color that we're going to go with is going to be this sort of warm gold over here. So with my foil liner selected, I'm going to make a new layer for the metallics. And I'm just going to trace a few areas here.
so I'm just going to choose the ultra fine glitter in the same color on the same layer and add just a little bit more accents to what I've just done. When I push a bit harder with this brush, you can get more scattered flecks, whereas when you just do a straight line, you get it all kind of concentrated on one place. There's the pushing really hard. Actually, like that, I'm going to keep it. Okay, so I think I'm just going to leave the metallics at that for now um, in order to go ahead and start doing the geometric elements. So in the for the geometric elements, I'm going to use the same color and the same brush, but I'm going to make a new layer so that it doesn't interact with what I've just done here. So I'm going to take, um, you know, I am actually going to switch back to the foil liner. So that's the one I used previously for these fine lines. That's the one I'm going to use for the geometrics. So I'm going to have, just like Julie, I'm going to do two triangles in a circle. So I'm just going to start by laying them down and then strategically erasing. So I'm going to make a big triangle right here. And it's going to be very, you know what, that's too big. I'm going to make the brush a bit smaller. It's going to be very wonky looking at first because I don't draw in straight lines, but if you hold it, then it becomes a proper triangle like this. And if you just don't, don't lift up the brush, then you can kind of make it as big and pointing in whatever direction you want it to be. I think I want to have it about there because I want to erase this, these areas where it's going over this big circle. But first I'm just going to go ahead and draw all the shapes so that I have that. And it goes popping right into place there. And then the circle. Which I think I want to have about here. And the circle it does pop into a circle when you let when you hold it for a minute, but if you want it into a perfect circle, just touch the screen while holding on. And now we've got a nice perfect circle. So I'm just gonna decide where I want that to be. I think it's a bit big. There. You know what? I think I'm gonna redo the circle because I want a bit of white space on the circle as well. Okay, like that better. So now I'm gonna take the eraser brush and on the standard airbrushing brushes that come with Procreate, I'm gonna have the medium hard brush chosen and I'm just going to erase, first off I'm gonna erase where the overlap of these lines here and then I'm going to erase here and just wherever it seems like a good idea to um, you know erase a little bit so that it looks like it's weaving in and out of this texture.
so now I'm going to, with the foil liner still selected, the same color, I'm just going to make the brush a little bit smaller. And you can keep it the same size if you want. I just wanted to have it smaller for um, a couple of lines and doodles inside of these geometric circles and triangles in order to just give it a bit more of an interesting look. This one didn't go straight, so I'm just going to erase it and do it again. I think I'm just going to go ahead and erase a bit more in here just to make it a bit more interesting. fairly happy with that and I'm just gonna leave it just like it is and um, I hope that you liked it and thanks so much to Julie for um, allowing me to create this tutorial based on her design and um, you can check out more about her work in the link in the description down below if you want to go have a look at her Instagram and give her some love that would be amazing thank you and um, let me know if you have any questions or comments and I'll be happy to help you Thanks for watching.